uh, next guest, our next <laughs> guest was the, the barmaid who pulled pints in the Queen Vic and put her glasses under the optic too. Uh, but she certainly didn't pull any punches. Hello, Peggy. Bet you never thought you'd see me again. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> but it was her star turn reaching the quarterfinals of Strictly Come Dancing that led her to waltz her way to a brand new slimmer figure. You look beautiful tonight, and you dance like a star. I've never seen you looking more lovely. Yes. You look a real star turn. It was a beautiful waltz, well executed. Well, I have to agree with the rest of the panel. To try. Just stunning. <laughs> Tisha Dean Lovely. joins us now to talk about her dropping uh, two dress sizes the old-fashioned way. And welcome. It's lovely to nice see you. Nice to be here. That made me laugh, that clip, Philip, actually, because, you know, I've got the best comments, and that's the week I got voted off. Is yes. That but I went out in my nicest frock, so that was yeah. something. And you say you wanted to do that because you wanted to do something that put, in your words, I think, put the fear of God into you. Yeah, and it did. It ticked all, all, all of the boxes. Yeah, it did put the fear of God in me. But it's a wonderful experience. Absolutely fantastic. Why did you need to be terrified then? I think most performers need that, don't they? You need to sort of be pushed and challenged and neurotic, you know, I suppose. <laughs> well, it's like getting onto a roller coaster, I suppose. Mind you, see, you would like to do that. I would rather not. Well, uh, but the big difference is you can dance and I can't. Ah, oh, but I, well, no, not really. Anyway, let's <laughs> move on from that one. But you had a fantastic year um, with Strictly Come Dancing, which, as you say, put the fear of God into you. Yeah. And then coming into, I mean, the quarterfinals is blooming good. You came fourth in the whole competition. Yeah. Then, of course, you had the great big long tour. Yeah. And that was more gruelling than, I think, anything you've ever taken on before. Oh, yeah, the tour nearly finished me off because they gave me the jive to do, which mm. was like about 45 performances of the jive, which obviously wasn't my best well, dance. every night the jive? Yeah, every night. You didn't yeah. have a choice? No. They oh gave my it to me. Gosh. A bit of drama, you know. Right. And carrying these babies around a dance floor with a jive was not easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how many times would you have had to have done it? That would have been, you know, Must 50, have been about 45, 60 to 50, 60, really? yeah, something like that. So but we won, sleep. Oh, well, we won, we won. We won once in Nottingham. Darren and I, so that was, honestly, you thought I'd have got an Oscar. Yeah. Oh, like, yes. oh, well, bless Nottingham. <laughs> bless Nottingham, yeah. yeah. So, so then, you, you, well, during Strictly Come Dancing, you discover that the inches are falling Yeah, off. it's a great way to drop a bit of weight, actually. That's when it first came. I lost 10 pounds, I think, during Strictly, which was fantastic. And then, after that, I didn't work for a couple of months, mm. went back into my old habits, and it crept right back up again. But so. the thing about Strictly, and especially Craig, Revel Hallward, who, mm. you know, you know, can say anything, um, he did actually have a bit of a dig at your size, didn't he, at that time? I think time. he mentioned my six-pack. Yeah. <laughs> but initially, he'd said you might need to do a few yeah, sit-ups and tummy and crunches and stuff. So yeah. did you take that seriously? Well, you know, no girl wants to hear that particularly, do they? But I like Craig very much, you know, and, you know, we have quite a giggle nowadays. But, um, yeah, I, I, I did take it on board, really. And so um, I think for me it was the fact that my weight has always gone up and down, up and down over the years, so I just wanted to have some consistency. Mm. Yes. And exercise has been the thing for me, which I was never a big fan of and I never did very much of, so... And perhaps love as well, because the love of your life at the moment is a, is a dancer too, is that right? Yeah, not a boring one, but yeah. Oh, what kind of dancer is he then? <laughs> More modern stuff, and you know, I'm not very up on the dancing, really. No. But so, does he have you hip hopping around the place? I've had a little go. Have you? <laughs> ah, okay, not I'm my forte. Eh? No, okay. Yeah. But I mean, I'm just thinking about how you incorporate all that movement and exercise and energy into your ordinary life, into everyday life, because it's kind of hard to fit it all in. It is. I mean, what I love actually about the DVD that I'm bringing out is that it's it's something. It's got something for everyone, and if you've only got ten minutes in your day. You know, that's all you need to do it, probably. I mean, you could do it, obviously, it's a 50-minute one, but you can yeah. just take sections of it out. And at the time, I was having my flat tonight, which I still am, still going on, and the room was very small that we rehearsed in, so it's it's something, you know, that everybody could do it in, really, in their own small places. So and you've done, uh, you've done uh, what you call the Latin sizzler. Yeah, it's camp old names, aren't yeah. they? But, but for someone who, who initially started off, as you just said, hating Latin. Loathed it. Loads it, yeah. But with the Latin sizzler that we do in this section, it's it's a lot of cardio based stuff as well, so it's a bit more a bit more balls to it really. Yeah. And oh, yeah. what's the I can't think of the word it was now, the muffin Muffin shrinker. Muffin shrinker. Muffin shrinker. Oh. That's right. I was it's a great word, there. isn't it? The muffin. <laughs> This is our muffin top that comes over the top of your jeans. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So there's a muffin shrinker. There's a muffin shrinker. And a bingo buster. And a bingo buster. 
Look at those arms. Look at those. You're oh, looking so terrific. Are you, are you then a, a sort of domestic goddess of, you know, being able to, to cook healthy food at home? And you don't do any of that. I'm not very good, really, in cooking. So, I mean, what I used to do was just rely on takeaways and all of that because it was easier for me or, or rustle a little sandwich up. Yeah. And that's about it, really. But I've learned to sort of cook a little bit, simple stuff. I've got my George Foreman grill, which is fabulous. And just do lots of <laughs> little, like, you know, a bit of chicken and stuff like that, really. So you because the, the only way exercise whether it's dancing yeah. or soon to be ice skating yeah, exactly, you know all of those yeah. sort of things the only the only it, it really works in conjunction with a good diet you well, have I to think eat so, well and i think it's you know for me it's more you know yes it's nice to lose weight but it's also it's great to feel healthy really and I haven't felt like this for a long time. I'm 42 this year, so it's it's nice to actually finally learning to love exercise for me, mm. really. Mm. You know, and it's not a chore because it's something that I like to do, and hopefully it's a bit of fun on the DVD. I mean, obviously, don't watch yeah. it myself because I know it off by heart. That would be a bit weird, wouldn't it? <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Can all look at me there? Yeah. So you had this massive year last year because then after the Strictly tour, you then went into High School Musical, mm, which I which loved. A and it was a breeze compared to the tour, I'm sure. And you loved doing that. And then, so this year, what have you got planned? Well, so if I just finished doing, um, playing the Wicked Queen. In pantomime? In pantomime, which with your was brother. great fun. With my brother playing the prince, yeah. Usually, we used to be, I was Snow White and he was a prince, which was a bit disturbing, really. <laughs> but, um, the, you know, a bit older now, so I'm the Wicked Queen. Because you have to come and kiss you. Yes, yeah. my toes used to curl like that. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, so just promoting my DVD and stuff. And after that, I'm, you know... Nothing at the moment. Well, Possibly yeah. high school again, maybe. Yeah. Just waiting to hear. I hope so, because I loved it. It's one of my favourite ever jobs. Well, well, before Christmas, we always talk to people who are about to embark on the panto. And, of yeah. course, after Christmas and the New Year, we're talking to people who are just coming off the back of them and they're knackered. Yeah, knackered. So, uh, so, so you, you book, a, book a holiday and you say, for the first time, that's it. Actually, I'm going on holiday. I'm going somewhere warm and I may very well wear a bikini. I might force myself into a little bikini. Yeah, yeah I've worn one since I was about eight years old, I don't think. So that'd be yeah, it's good. Quite an you, unusual thing for, for me, it. but yeah, I could do with the break though, to be honest. Mm. I could tell when I looked in the this one, I thought oh, I could see those panto bags, I call them. <laughs> I looked like Jubilee at the beginning of December. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. Well, enjoy the sunshine, and it's Thank nice you. to see you. Nice to see you. Happy New Year. Thank you, Very Thank good. You. Uh,